What attracted me to mathematics was the fact that there were absolutely limitless possibilities that opened up if I chose to embark on this as my undergraduate major. I knew I wanted to be a teacher and so whatever I majored in had to be teachable. And honestly, I know it's a little geeky, but I couldn't imagine studying for four years in uh, any other subject except mathematics. That the stuff that I really enjoyed doing, working with other engineers, talking to biologists, talking to economists, all of that used skills that I was learning in my math courses. When I saw a talk here at SFU, it was given by a professor and he was building a model that simulates the dynamics of a tumor in the brain. And the purpose for that was so that you could eventually make it so sophisticated that you can test out different treatments for brain tumors on a computer as opposed to a real human being or animals. And I thought, I had no idea that you could actually do that with mathematics, so that really at that point opened up my eyes to the possibilities. These days, mathematics is being used in every part of people's lives. Whether you're looking something up on Google, whether you're using Photoshop to transform a picture, when you go to use a banking machine, when you go to the doctor and get a medical diagnosis. Mathematics is involved in, in all of those things and many, many more. So if you're interested in having a world of really challenging but vibrant mathematics to look at, if you're interested in applications which need some mathematics, this is a place to come. The mathematics program has minors, majors, and honors. One of the streams that we offer is applied mathematics. As we live in an increasingly computational world, this area is actually crossing many more disciplines than it ever has before. The applied math program also prepares our students for careers in industry. Fluid dynamics, the study of the motion of liquids and gases, is an example of applied mathematics. Aerodynamics, hydrodynamics, meteorology, and oceanography all draw heavily on the mathematics of fluid mechanics. The mathematical physics program blends theoretical and laboratory physics with peer and applied mathematics. This program is a good choice for students who wish to go on and pursue graduate work in either physics or mathematics. General relativity explores the geometry of curved space-time. Geodesics is the study of the shortest paths on a surface. To save fuel and time, a plane's path follows a geodesic along the two-dimensional surface of the Earth. The Mathematics and Computing Science program blends both mathematics and computing science together. If you find yourself fascinated by computing science and also extremely interested in mathematics, this is probably a program that will best suit your needs. My interest in video games led to an interest in computer graphics. Math is essential for understanding most of the tools and concepts used in graphics. That's why I switched from pure computer science to the math and computing science program. Knowledge of programming languages and computer theory is a huge plus for people interested in working for gaming companies. Computer graphics and math courses, calculus and linear algebra, are essential to understanding many concepts that are used in industry. So if you're not quite sure which area of math you like, as there are so many to choose from, then the mathematics program is the one that you probably like the best. This is our most flexible program. You can customize the courses around the areas that interest you. Mathematics is also a great minor to complement any major. In every math class that I took through the SFU math department, I had an incredible professor. Not once did I have a professor that left me wondering about the course and left me hoping for more or totally misunderstanding what I was supposed to get. The course I'm taking right now, which is definitely the most satisfying, is my algebraic number theory course. Uh, it's, it's going into depth into pieces of math that I never would have even imagined, and it's, it's also giving results that just seem far deeper than something I, I would have been able to do at the start of my undergrad. It was really great to have that community and that friendship among other math students. We were able to help each other with assignments, to support each other uh, in tests, and we always organized a fun social event every semester. This is my uh, 2009 uh, NSERC undergrad project, and it, it involves modeling a hospital uh, queuing system. Mm -hmm. Essentially what happens is I have to start with a bunch of patients who are waiting in a surgical wait list, 
and I modeled it by saying, okay, some people might leave this list, but if, let's say, they get booked for surgery, then they are waiting in line, and on the day of, they'll hopefully make it into surgery. And, but if not, they might be, if, if the patient beds are full, then they have to be canceled, and they have to go back to the line and try again. If they get through the patient beds, then they're discharged. But the, the problem was, essentially, how do I model this from a queuing theory approach? Increasingly, employers tell us in the university system that the skills that they're looking for are quantitative abilities, but much more fundamentally, the ability to think clearly and logically, to formulate opinions which are well-informed and systematically derived from available information, the ability to write clearly and communicate one's thoughts in a manner that is both cogent and precise, these are the kinds of skills that you will learn as part of a mathematics degree. We have students who go on to take many different kinds of careers in industry. In the software industry, for example, particularly gaming, or in financial planning, in financial mathematics, and the creation of investment in instruments. There are many people who work in fields such as operations research, which involves business planning and, and strategizing. We also have students who go on to further education in fields such as medicine and law. I take pride in the fact that my students have gone on to very diverse careers. One of them heads a cancer research facility in Zurich. Another one is a banker in Germany. A third is a lawyer now. A fourth is on Wall Street. A fifth runs a gaming industry in Vancouver. And the list goes on and on. Every year, I'm really happy to pick up the phone when somebody calls and says, Hey, Nilma, who are the smart math kids that you have now? Whom we could try and hire. All of these fields are fields where mathematics provides an entry. These and many more, in fact. What are these patterns that we see when we throw a rock into a swimming pool and people jump out? What do we see when we watch a movie like Avatar? What really happened there? What is the mathematics behind it? Maybe you don't ask yourself, what is the mathematics? But if you're curious about these questions, and you have a mind that is willing to explore, be challenged, and be formed into a logical tool of immense power, mathematics is for you.